What's going on everybody? It's Brian and this is part E no, this is part twelve of my PC build series, and I'm finally gonna start putting some things together and I'm gonna show you some, you know, how to videos. So this is basically going to be a multi part uh, video series on the actual build itself. And in this video I'm actually going to be putting some of the components onto the motherboard and I'll also be showing you how to mount the motherboard into our thermal take armor A60 case. So we're going to be putting in our processor, which in my case is the Intel Core i5 2500K. I'm also going to put the stock cooler onto it. I will probably get a aftermarket cooler in, in the future. And here we have our two four gigabyte G-Skill Rip Jaws X RAM sticks. Should go fairly well with the uh, color scheme of the motherboard. And over there we have the GTX 560. That's just sitting there. I'm not gonna be doing that. In this video now I think on our motherboard yeah there is some plastic wrapping on some of our uh, heat sinks here so I'm just gonna take those off all right so it looks like we are ready to go so over here we have our CPU socket which is made specifically for Sandy Bridge processors using the uh, 1155 socket so I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in to the socket itself there we go so here we have the processor just gonna take it out of its little packaging and we have this little latch here just need to uh, figure out how to get this open so it seems as though it goes in this way so we have the processor installed now we're going to take our stock cooler it's basically this simple heat sink, heat sink and fan. Just gonna figure out where the fan connector is located. I'm assuming it's this one right here. So this just uses little push pins to insert itself into the motherboard. So we're going to push down on these. And it looks like all the pins are properly in place. So our cooler is now ready to go. So we just need to plug in the fan into the CPU fan slot, which is right here. I'm just gonna... Okay, so, so far we have our CPU installed, our cooler installed, and we have plugged in the fan. So what I'm going to do now is take the RAM sticks and put them into place. So I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'll put them in the black slots. So they go in this way. Installing RAM sticks are very easy. It's very straightforward. All you have to do is line it up with the slot. And line them up with the slot. And push down until they snap into place. So here is our motherboard. I don't know if you saw the RAM installation or not, but here it is. We have our CPU, our cooler, our fan plugged in, and our two RAM sticks installed. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and end this video and for the next one I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to mount this into your case. <laughs> 